I will endeavor to make my homiletic comments somewhat shorter because we have special moments in our liturgy, the blessing of the mothers, and we have some of our First Communion children here at this Mass who made their first Eucharist yesterday. We had our third celebration of Eucharist for the children yesterday. This Gospel reading comes from chapter 10 in the book of John, dealing with the Good Shepherd. The treatment of the Good Shepherd in this manner is unique to John. We don't find this in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John has a very strong symbolic evident, uh, witness here to the voice of the shepherd. The voice of the shepherd calls us. And those who belong to the shepherd know the voice of the shepherd. So I'd like to spend a few moments speaking about the voice of the shepherd and how this appears in our own lives. The more I read and the more I pray or reflect, the more I hear an inner voice, a mystical voice in my own life calling me home. Home is not a place. Home is an experience. It's an experience of shelter a place of peace, of meaning, a venue of fulfillment. And the voice calls me to come home to this experience of something mystical. Now, we can lose touch with that voice very easily with all sorts of distractions and all sorts of good deeds, but when you reflect, in your pensive moments, you will hear the inner voice calling you home. At some time, or under some circumstance in life, every one of us is called and even driven to ask big questions. These are sometimes unfamiliar questions. The questions that are life-altering. When we reflect in silence, the inner voice prompts us to wonder, what's the meaning of my life? Have I made a life commitment which I cannot undo, which I would like to undo? Do I think I made a radical mistake in some promise I made in life which I cannot renege? Do I have some deep unhealed wound? Am I carrying a selfishness inside of me which I do not want to look at, but which the voice says, come home from this place of conflict. Dwell in a place of peace. That's the meaning of life. Sometimes these interruptions in life come to us through some great failure, perhaps some great failure in life, some remorse I'm carrying. This pensive moment may appear through uh, some tragedy in my life, something I did not expect. The life-altering experiences which we have, which sometimes we're afraid to examine and will only come to us in times of silence. And when I encounter this certain venue of discovery, I'm looking for a voice. And here I hear the voice of the shepherd, the one who is always there, the one who loves, the one who understands. 
And there I hear my name called by the shepherd. I am one of the sheep. And the shepherd says, follow me. Come home. For too long, I have listened to the voices of the world. For too long, I have mortgaged my life on false assumptions. For too long, I have been so busy, I haven't given attention to the mystical inner voice calling me home. It's the voice of the shepherd. To neglect that will mean I'll, I'll continue to live with a certain amount of inner conflict, the unhealed wound, the struggles in life. Uh, I will make big issues out of things which are just passing. So somewhere in life, I have to find a place of silence where I begin to hear the voice of the shepherd. A familiar story to us, but it's worth repeating here, is told about an occasion in a country mansion in England where this famous actor gathered together some intellectual social people of the time to do some readings from Wordsworth and from Shakespeare. And he read from Tintern Abbey and he read from Shakespearean texts, and the people were awed. They were transfixed by his erudite, powerful presentation of the readings. And when he finished, they stood up and applauded him. And then there was an elderly priest in the audience who said, Sir, I would like you to do me a favor. Would you read for me the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. And the actor said, Father, I will do that on one condition, that after I have read it, then you will come up and you will read it. Well, the priest, with hesitation, agreed. And the actor read the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, and he read it with such power and such depth. The people were awed. And when he finished, they stood up and applauded. And then the elderly priest haltingly went to the podium, and he read the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, and nobody stood up and applauded. That happens to priests sometimes. No, nobody stood up and applauded. And then the actor went back to the podium, and he said, My friends, I know the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. And then pointing to the priest, he said, but he knows the shepherd. <laughs> do you know the shepherd? And do you hear his voice? It's not a voice the world will give you. It's a voice you will only hear in silence. And the voice will say, come home. Minnie Louise Haskins has this thought in her poem, The Gate of the Year. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. And so I went forth, and finding the hand of God, trod, trod gladly into the night, and he led me toward the hills and the breaking of day in the lone east. Listen to the shepherd. The voice which calls you to come home. 